guys, I'm going to show you today how I made this puzzle in Lyburn. Um, it's really easy and I hope you guys like it. So let's watch. Puzzle. And the name that I need to do is to town and the one in all capital. So I'll do town. And this is the font that I use. So I'll go ahead. I want it to be around four to five inches. So that's fine. Let's put five. So that kind of works. And how's that? Does it no. Yeah, the head. Five, that's for the font. So it changed to five or four inches. This one is for the font. So it will be four inches, which is good, a good size. And then now what I want to make for my puzzle, um, I want to make sure I have a square around it. And the reason being is because this is a puzzle, so I need the, the letters to pop out. So I want that to be cut, so I will put it in red. And then... Um, to make a puzzle, I need two parts of the same, so I copy and paste, but one of the parts needs to be cut. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one and put it in right as well. So this part is going to cut all completely and this part is going to um, score so that I can paint each letter individually. Um, I like it that it is scored first and then it cuts after, so after I have that, um, I'll just go to my laser and I'm going to show you guys this right now. I'm not downstairs, but I'm going to show you guys. That's how I made the file and I'll be back to show you guys how I use the machine. I just grab my wood and I'm putting it on the back. I like this wood because of the, of the color. So when I paint, it's going to look pretty nice. So let's set it up. Okay. And I put this, which is a magnet, um, it holds it down, it holds my wood down. Okay, so let's turn it on. Oh, a bunch of stuff over here. But I'll just turn it over here. Oh, great, I have to tell Google to turn on my machine. So I'll just turn it on and it goes over there to the left, right. And then I'm just gonna go close it up. Over here. This is how I check where my button is. So like right now, I wanted to start around this area. So I know it's around this area. It's not completely correct, but I already kind of know. A little bit more. Like almost right there, I just need to move it one little piece more. And then we have it. Okay, so that's what I wanted to do. Go. So now with this one, I grab it and I move it. And then I go and put frame. So it shows me exactly where it's gonna cut. So you see how it's exactly gonna cut right there. It's like almost perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I turn off the laser and then I open it up. It says I know right there is where my wood is going to start cutting. I'm just gonna move it. So I like to leave a grace, a little bit of grace. So I'll just put this here and then over there. exactly a straight so I'll do another frame again which is like perfect perfect so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my laser if I don't turn it on it will do pretend do what it, everything goes I'm gonna send it to my machine and then now I'm gonna hit start it's right in first and then it's gonna cut up. And then now we're here. Let me try to do a quick thing. I'm making 
some stuff on my acrylic. Okay. 